Hi, this is Chris, and welcome to Winemaker TV. If you like wine, if you like mead, if you like cider, and you want to learn how to make it for yourself, this is the place for you. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll know every time that I come out with a new video and a new wine. Today, I'll be racking my muscadine wine into its secondary to get it off the fruit and the skins. So stay tuned. Hi, today we'll be racking um, my three gallon batch of muscadine wine I started a month ago. If, you're, if this is your first uh, time viewing a video of mine, there will be a card for the starting of this wine. When I use the term racking, basically all, I, all I'm going to be doing is moving it from this container to this container. And we do that for um, if we want to help clear it every time you rack it, you try to get a clearer wine to get it off the sediments, to get it off the, the fruit. Also, you want to get it off the lees is the the yeast and whatnot has fallen to the bottom. So we want to get it off of that. So that's what we'll be doing today. So you'll need a carboy, you'll need your three gallon batch of wine, and you'll need all this has been sanitized and you'll need a racking cane. So let's get started. Okay, in order to rack it, your, say your wine must be slightly elevated above it works better. I don't say it has to be, but it works better. It's slightly elevated above it. So I just put this one on a couple of 30 pound dumbbells I had lying around. Woo! I wish we had smell-o-vision because this smells divine. This is mainly for my wife, so she is going to love this. And if you want to get yourself a taste real quick, this is called a wine thief or a straw. So you can just sanitized put it down in there oh get you a little sip <sighs> that is going to be as my my youngest daughter would say it's going to be epic now this creates a uh, suction the siphon so it's just a couple of pumps to get it going make sure your tube is all the way in the bottom at this point we try to minimize any oxygen to the uh, to the wine so it'll prevent so we can prevent it from turning into vinegar all right come on there we go I think I got a seed in there All right, we'll let this go. We'll be right back. All right, we've got it transferred over to our uh, three-gallon carboy. As you can see, it didn't quite make the top, so we don't like to have all that air in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to top it off with some wine I made months ago. Or you can use, some people use water. I prefer using old, um, not old, but a previous batch of wine and you can see it still didn't fill it up that left that little left that's in the bottom that we didn't transfer that's the angel share and that's what we transferred it off of so I'm gonna I'm gonna fill the rest of the way up but for right now we'll show you how it finished I'm gonna add the airlock back so it can uh, degas a little bit and settle you can see it's still cloudy, so we're going to keep racking it to this. All this will settle to the bottom, and we'll rack it again. Repeat this process uh, probably in maybe another t one or two more times. So let's, we'll be right back to wrap things up. And that's racking of a muscadine wine. It's still a little cloudy, so I'm going to rack it another maybe once or twice and so we can get this thing cleared up. Then we'll uh, stabilize it and then we'll back sweeten it and bottle it. So that'd be another few months away for that. So we'll let this thing clear. Um, if you like what you see here, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. So you'll know every time I come out with a new wine and a new video. 
There'll be a links in the affiliate links in the description below for wine making kits, ingredients, and whatnot. Even if you don't need wine making equipment and ingredients, if you would please still hit those links, I will get uh, affiliate uh, commission off of anything you buy on Amazon. So that helped me continue buying more equipment and making more wine. This is Chris with Winemaker TV, and that's all there is today.